Well, we got a nice little surprise today. I wasn't really expecting this to come in. I thought it was gonna be a little bit later, but the mini split got here on the air conditioner for the trailer. So there's, it's in two parts. There's this big, huge one here, right? That's gonna go on the outside of the trailer. And there's this other box. And I assume this is the inside, um, I assume this is the inside uh, unit that mounts on the wall where the actual air comes from. So let's uh, pop this baby open. I kinda wanna see if it's gonna fit on the tongue of the trailer. I really hope so. Just so I can kind of show you my plan a little bit. This is what I'm planning on doing with this thing. So here's the mini split. You see on the bottom of it, it has these mounting points, right? These little mounting points right here. And what I'm gonna do is put some kind of steel cross members kind of across the tongue the triangle here. Um, and then I'm just gonna bolt it down to that. Hopefully, I just gotta make sure I leave enough room so the trailer handle here can still be spun but yeah i think it looks okay it's pretty big it's a little bigger than i was expecting it to be but that's okay and here is the inside unit i went ahead and took it out of the box came with this wall template which is really nice that's going to be super helpful and i'm going to put it up there this is the model that i bought it's a pioneer brand there's the model right there. It's a ductless split air conditioner. This is not what you call a DIY one. Um, they make mini splits that are quote unquote DIY. I think Mr. Cool uh, makes a few of them. And those are like pre-vacuum sealed, I guess is what you call it. Um, and they're a little easier to install, but they're more expensive. I think I saved about 300 bucks by doing this kind. So this is a traditional mini split um, that's meant to be installed by like an HVAC professional. But, you know, as with most of these projects for this trailer, a couple hours of YouTube research and watching some videos will uh, show you everything you need. So I bought everything we needed. I bought a vacuum pump and the like the gauge manifold system. So you can see the pressures and the lines and stuff. So I'm going to get on YouTube and learn how to install this thing. And I have seen a video or two of how to do it. And it looks like it's not too bad. So I saved a couple hundred dollars by doing that. And uh, I got new tools, so I get to learn how to do something new. So we'll see how this goes. After I finished the wall, I got a little ahead of myself and forgot to film this because I'm an idiot. Uh, but I did go ahead and hang the bracket that the uh, air conditioner is going to sit on. It came with this really handy guide. Um, you can just hold up to the wall and kind of see exactly where you want to put it. And I did have to add in some additional joists here. Well, furring strips, added in some additional furring strips there. And I originally was going to put it right in the middle, um, right in the middle when those would be the two edges. But Caitlin had a look at it and said, why don't we push it all the way to the side? And then we can put a shelf right here, which is in my design. So I'm going to have to shorten the middle want to get it just a little bit but this is where we decided to hang it really straightforward you just literally screw in the holes so there's nothing to this it's not even really worth filming so and then the mini split sits on top of that next we just have to mount the unit on the front of the trailer so let's do it well i got a little ahead of myself because i forgot today was monday which is star wars podcast day another one of our millions of hobbies i run utini.com we help people get into star wars books and comics and on Mondays, we have a podcast. It's the Living Four. So we live stream every Monday. So we have to check that out. Uh, but let me show you where my stopping point is today. So I got the metal pieces cut, and one is a little shorter than the other one. Although it's a little hard to tell at this angle. And those are going to get bolted to the uh, trailer tongue here. I'm just going to use self tapping screws, I think, to, to get those in there. But I probably am going to pre drill the holes just because it goes better. But, you know, this looks fine. Um, probably going to spray paint them black too, just so. They don't rust in. That's that. I 
Got her all mounted up. I had to do some, I don't know, some engineering here. Oh, I got I got bolts uh, in all in three out of four places. So one, two, and then three over there. But this one gave me trouble because the bolt sits right over the foot sits right over the the trailer. So what I did is I had to use a self-tapping screw that was quite challenging to get in there. It's kind of it's kind of ugly underneath there, but it looks good now and uh, it's pretty uh, pretty stable. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. And I made sure to leave room for the handle so you can still easily use that so thing looks pretty good pretty rad can't wait to get that hooked up and hopefully it works maybe i should have tested it before i bolted it down but oh well here we are Okay, so I got all my lines ran finally. Uh, it was pretty challenging. I ended up having to take the cover off of the indoor units. I ended up having to take the cover off of this unit entirely. There are like three screws underneath it, like one, two, and three. And uh, actually, you know what? They're inside here behind the um, like hatch, right? So there's one, two, three screws, and there's one screw hiding. It's kind of hard to see, but it's in there. There's a little cover up for it right there. So there's one screw right there. And then this whole thing like pops off. But because there's like a slight curve in this wall right here, it made it pretty challenging to get that thing in there. So um, I had to take the cover off to get it to sit flush and snap into place, which is no big deal. Um, and then I had to little use a little bit of force to get the cover back on. But um, that's that. So I ended up running the lines right through the middle rather than over on the on the... On the left, you can see the first place I was gonna do it was right here, but I'm an idiot and didn't look on the outside before I put it in, so I put a hole in it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to patch that up, another hole. Um, but uh, yeah, I ran right through the middle uh, of the back of the, um, the indoor unit and then just came out right here. And then um, I got my piping going down here. Now, um, I have a lot of excess copper pipe right here and I'm gonna have to go get a copper flaring kit um, from Lowe's uh, so I can cut and flare the end of this copper um, before I hook it all up and then do the vacuum sealing part. So I'm gonna run to the store right now and uh, get that tool. I have all the other copper cutting tools already. I just need the flaring tool to put the flare on the end. And uh, once I do that, we'll hook it up and uh, vacuum seal it up. Okay, so I got them both hooked in here. This was uh, a little challenging, but they come in at an angle right here and I just torqued them up with uh, some wrenches and also took some of the leftover um, 
lift or insulation off the piping that I cut off and just put it in there and put some tape on it. I just bought some white tape off of Amazon, so it'll look a little better than just this ugly electrical tape, but I'll insulate it up. It's in there pretty secure and it's gonna rain and I'm about to have to head into the hospital for a little bit here. Um, so I had to <laughs> I had to cover up my hole just so it doesn't get any water in there. So I just took a trash bag and taped it up real good right there. And uh, it's almost done. A few more things to do, but we're getting there. All right, it's another day here, and we are about to uh, vacuum seal this air conditioner. Now, I gotta be honest, I don't really have any idea what I'm doing, and uh, I'm hoping this wasn't a huge mistake. But I got my instructions, <laughs> and I got YouTube. Hopefully that's all I need, so let's see how this goes. So here's the piping. We're gonna connect to this with this manifold set and this vacuum pump. And the links to both of these are in the description below and over on the website as well. This vacuum pump, you have to put oil in it, just so you know. There's a little gauge on the front. See the oil? You can put the oil in the top. It's in the instructions. You gotta put the oil in there first. And then we're gonna hook up this manifold to this and get going. And hope we don't kill ourselves. I am gonna use gloves because I don't wanna get refrigerant on me. God, I hope this doesn't leak. Pretty nervous, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so we're all ready to go. It's a new day because I had to wait on parts to get here. There's a little quarter inch adapter you have to use to attach your manifold set to the mini split. I'll be sure to link that adapter below. Um, I'll also link the video that showed me exactly how to do all this stuff um, below as well. But let me show you what I got here. Okay, so this is what we got, right? So we got the manifold system and then the mini split and then the vacuum pump is down here. So we have the quarter inch adapter going from the top one here. It's really the only one that's got a little output, right? You see there's an output right here and then there's nothing right here. So it goes on this one. I had to use an adapter that connects to the line and this is the low pressure hose. Low pressure hose goes to the blue one, which is the low pressure gauge. And this valve is opened, right? And then the middle one is the yellow cable and that one, or the yellow hose, and that one goes to the vacuum pump, right? And it's just plugged in right there. So we are going to run this thing for 15 minutes, like the instructions say, so we can get this pressure up to a certain amount and it's in the, it's in the booklet. So let's do it. All right, so we have sucked all the air out. It says it's negative 30 uh, inches of mercury, and it has to stay that way. So now I've closed the gauge. Now theoretically, because the gauge is closed, we've already sucked all the air out. If the gauge moves after a few minutes, it means there's a leak somewhere in the system. And so far it hasn't moved. It's only been a couple minutes. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes. And uh, once that is done, we will use an Allen wrench right here to let the refrigerant out of the um, outside unit and into the line and hopefully that will move so let's wait a few minutes and then we will let the refrigerant in all right so we've done all the things this still shows minus 30 which we want now we're going to now we're going to open the two-way valve which is the smaller one here and let all the refrigerant in the line and hopefully this thing will move so let's hope we don't blow up All right, so I've let some of the refrigerant into the line. I'm just gonna watch the gauge and make sure it doesn't move. So it's sitting at like 75 or so. I'm gonna listen everywhere and make sure it's not leaking. All right, so I've listened everywhere and I don't hear it leaking. So I think it's good. So I'm gonna let it sit for just another minute or two. And uh, then I'm gonna open up both, both valves all the way. So I'm gonna use gloves to take this thing off so I don't get refrigerant all over me because I don't want to get it all over me. I don't know what refrigerant is. And I'm a doctor, so, you know, I don't like chemicals being on me. So I got that done. Now, 
I just gotta put the nuts back on top of these, close this up, and let's test it. Okay, so I got the electrical hooked up to the trailer. I got the air conditioner wired into my 20 amp circuit. So theoretically, when I flip this switch, the air conditioner will work or it's gonna flip the breaker, one of the two. So let's find out. Moment of truth. I heard a beep. I hear the sound of a fan. Wow, it's really quiet. Wow, this air broke blowing out of it. So I don't have the air conditioner on yet. This is just the fan. It's a very, very quiet, but the fan is running. Then if you go out here and look, I'm not sure if the camera can see, but the fan is going there too. I gotta play around with the settings and stuff and figure out exactly how to use this thing. But at first glance, it seems like it's working, which is pretty crazy. There's air conditioner in here. This is a home air conditioner inside of a camper and it's so quiet i cannot believe how quiet this thing is it's awesome all right i want to play with this some more um but yeah i think i'd call this a success all right push the power button on that remote Ooh. i know it's fancy watch the little vent fan open you already tested it yeah of course i've tested it Ooh. look it's opening Ooh. I know, it's pretty cool. Look at that. Probably takes a second for the air to get cold. It's already cold. You feel it? It's cool. It's getting cold? Yeah, it's getting cold. It's getting colder. Ooh, burp. It's red, isn't burp. it? Burp. It's like 85 degrees though. So actually it's probably closer to 90. It's very hot today. Probably. And this is very nice. nice. No, mm. I think it's still getting colder. Yeah, oh is. yeah, there's the air. Now the air conditioners yeah. came on. Ooh, now that's chilly. It was that just the fan, chilly. I guess, but it's quiet, isn't it? Oh my gosh. We're going to come out of the shower and freeze our butts off. Maybe not. I mean, <laughs> this is on. We're going to be like, whoa. <laughs> now this is the one with the heat pump in it too. So it will also generate heat. Oh, that will be nice. Coming out of the shower and being like. <sighs> I know. I used to hate thinking it's the one with the heat pump. I haven't tested the heater part yet, so oh, I'm not sure. Right. Hey, we'll try that next. I don't want to. It's already hot. I know. It's nice. Come look outside at this thing. It's very quiet. Hey, I mean, come on. Listen at it. Oh, it's very quiet. It's quieter out here than it is in there. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's rad. All right. Let me show you the last couple things I did. So first of all, final air conditioner. It looks really nice. I'm very pleased with it. So... Firstly, I bought this kit off of Amazon. I'll be sure to link it below. It is just a cover and a pipe cover set. So this is like butyl taped on and screwed on. Um, really simple to put on. I'm not even sure if I filmed most of that. Um, then I have this backing piece here um, that hides all the piping and it looks really, really nice. Um, you can see I also like, um, I use some of the vinyl to tape this together here and hide some of the or at least to kind of bundle them together just so it's a little more stable and then the drain i have it zip tied uh zip tied to my wiring down here so the end of it is just kind of dangling right there so that is the drain for the air conditioner um, i had to remount my emergency trailer brake i mounted that on the side here as well as the trailer um, uh, wiring there and then if you look behind it here i use some zip ties to um, tie off the sort of excess cable that I had left over. That is all zip tied back here. Um, obviously I couldn't get any footage cause it's like way back behind here. And then I have this taped off a little bit just to give it a little extra support here and it's zip tied all together here. So basically I have it all just kind of uh, tied up pretty nicely. The last thing I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna get some kind of bracket and just cover up like right here somewhere, maybe attach it to the trailer. I don't know if I can get back there with any tools though. So maybe I won't. I mean, it's pretty stable. It, it'll jiggle a little bit, but I don't think it'll be too bad. But overall, I'm super pleased with it. It looks really good. It looks professional. It looks really clean on the front of the trailer. I'm stoked. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for this one. We got the air conditioner all installed, which is super exciting. 
Um, it feels good to finally have a big electrical part of the trailer completed for now and get that air conditioner installed. Now I did do a little bit of electrical work, but don't worry, I filmed all that. And we're gonna have a full video dedicated to electrical a little later on, but I needed the breaker box and the basics of shore power working before I could test the air conditioner. I really wanna get that in first. So don't worry, that video is coming. If you like this content and you want more like it, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I guess we'll see you next time. Peace guys.